I wish that they got paid for being a student athlete and that they also almost had to finish and get their degree. Ah, simultaneously. I would like to see that. So, I would like something there to, to be, that degree. I don't know what I the balance is. I would like there is. to be a guarantee. What do you what What do you guys think about the the pivot with the going into the era of the NIL and the transfer portal uh, situation? Because Nick Saban said that was one one of the reasons that he was like, it's just a wild, wild west now, and I don't have the patience for it, I don't have the time for it. Coach Prime is on the opposite. He's like, man, I'm, I'm jumping in that thing. I'm trying to get whoever I can get to come to Colorado. But I see a lot of backlash from people as it relates to NIL and also the transfer portal because people become mercenaries. It's like, all right, so who can pay me the most bread? I'm just going to go to that school. What do y'all think about but that? It's also a gamble, too, though, because just because you hop in the portal doesn't necessarily mean that somebody wants you for their program. That's fair. You know, so um, and I think that's one of the things that uh, – Coach Prime was speaking of too. Yeah. Like, don't be too froggy. Yeah. Where some of y'all need to hop in the portal mm -hmm. and some of y'all need to pump your brakes and be cool where you at because you don't get out here and not be on nobody's team. True. So, true. What you think, Jay? It's about the concept of NIL. And First of all, does it, you know, is it, does it cheapen the game? No, it doesn't cheapen the game because, okay. uh, you know, I'm tired of these um, mostly, now I'm not saying all, but I'm tired of mostly African American athletes entertaining white people for free. Uh, and that's really what that's why, you know, sometimes you hear people say, well, you know, the spirit of the game and it's that you're used to being entertained for free and it's good. You keep them broke and you keep them dependent on a system that does not actually serve them. You know, I'm not saying, you know, once again, you see everybody getting a little piece, but I, if the NCAA is not going to pay them. Yeah. If they have the opportunity to go ahead and get a, a, a deal with it, a, a, I've seen people get tax tax yep. <laughs> tax car act, dealerships car dealerships canes chicken yeah. whatever you can get because you're not guaranteed to be able to maximize off of your name image and likeness after you're out of college everybody can't go to the league you know this is going to be the height of some people's uh earning power and so you know uh, there have been a lot of athletes that had all this earning power in college and they couldn't maximize off of it you know really? they might have been able to get a, a job at a car car dealership after they graduated or didn't graduate because that's how the system is set up um but i i love nil i'm glad it's going to bring you know college football uh video games back <laughs> to but at the same time did you see the deal that they gave uh, all the people who were opted in no they get six hundred dollars in a copy of the game yeah huh. Uh, that's not gonna cut it for me. Yeah, but you know, and, and I it's think the more old, than what they got back in the day. Yeah, I mean, this, this is off the video game. Yeah, this, this is off the video game. I mean, you got to think every kid, all these programs. Now, the only person I know that I've seen it's been a big deal that opted out was um, Arch Manning at Texas. He's well, like, Arch, Arch know how much he worth. I mean, Arch, Arch comes come from he, money. He, he's, he's from money. He come from money. He come from money. So, I mean. But for the, you know, for some kids, it's like you, you know how happy they'd be to get six hundred dollars and a free copy of the game. I, I'm just and saying, if I was a kid, in the video game. and my face is in the yeah. video game, yeah. and my name yeah. is Jersey and all that, I want to talk about Arch is banking on he's going to make it to the NFL. A lot of these other kids, this is their one shot you to know, be in a video and game. And let me be dope in the video game. I might yeah. be able to turn that into something else if, if my team makes a run. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I mean, there's so many opportunities here. I'm happy for these kids who are able to get money. Now I understand that money isn't there for everybody it's not but at one point it was there for nobody and i'm not here for that yeah i mean you hear prime example is the fab five all that money oh, they made man. off of them and then had the nerve to like take things from them like based off of them see web got just bread. surviving yes they, they needed stuff to survive yeah just think and about they the, created a whole culture behind them like yeah i'm i'm one of those people who, like first of all if i was reggie bush i would not have given uh the heisman, the heisman direct. i earned that on the field you'd had to get that shit out of my house in the dead of night yeah, you have to get that back in blood so. yeah so i'm not i'm not here for that you, you know the least they could do is give his mom a place to stay right. and, and a couple tickets to the game and and yeah for all the entertainment and all the value he brought to that program, and you mad imagine, because imagine he, the bread, imagine the bread Reggie Bush would have received if he could have got a piece well, of that the whole jersey. Squad sales. was crazy. Mac, uh, Matt Leiner, um, Lindale, Lindale White. White. Yeah, yeah. you know how much money they would have made off jersey sales you back know, then. There's still people who talk about how like it's nice that we have the Rams here, but it's still about USC football. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, um, and for certain places like Alabama, Alabama is. Alabama's professional football team. Facts. Yeah. So, you know, once again, I'm happy to see anybody who can get something that they deserve and that, that their their uh talent and people can find value in. 
No, just, for sure. just pay your taxes, kids, because that's going to, if, if anything, that's how they're going to try to take it back from you. I, yeah, I, I agree with want? everything you say, but I, I also think it makes the game less good. That's what I, I wanted to see if somebody was going to say. You think so? I do. So do you? So how how does the how do you think the game suffers from this? I think it just suffers from anything. Like if we did this show, mm -hmm. and every week we sub in a random person for Terry or for me or for Jay or for Mike, and they've never done the show before, it's going to mm -hmm. take them a while to get acclimated to the personalities on to understand how to do everything. It's just what it is. And to me, it's the same thing with any team sport. You know, like I think it's good that that the students are getting paid and that they have the ability to move around. But I do think the game suffers. I just think it's just, I think it's just, a, if we're going to choose which one we want to roll with, I think <clears throat> I would actually, I would lean on the, the side of the students getting paid versus or, the transfer portal. Student part. athletes. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I do think it suffers a little bit just because, you know, it's just, it's just how, I think that's just how most things are. You know, when you it, imagine a team that's played together for four years, as opposed mm -hmm. to teams that's played together for one year, it's just, it's just different. Well, what if, you know, the person who would sit in one of these chairs, they fit the system. Mm. Yeah. They, 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 you know, they they'll were, be able to adapt sooner, but there still is an ad adaptation period. Yeah, that's fair. You know what I mean? You, and can't, you can't hide from that part. I, I don't yeah. think you can. I don't think you can. I think, you know, and there's always going to be subtleties around the familiarity of just how the intricacies of everything works. Who's getting more touches than somebody else and everything yeah. else. And, you know, the coach and I don't know. I, I just, yeah, I, I think the game suffers a little bit because of it. But I think in the world that we live in, it's a step in the right direction, I guess. Yeah, I think it's kind of necessary, especially for these kids whose whose talent is what pretty much got them out of their situation, and they're able to go to school, but they don't have anything else other than being at school right. to actually, you know, help them earn their education mm -hmm. and be comfortable doing it. So the NIL, I think, is is very necessary. As far as, to your point, the transferring thing, I think... Uh, I mean, it's like I said earlier, it's, it's just it's kind of tricky when it comes to that. But it's, there's always been situations where students uh, were one and done because they need that money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kentucky pro basketball program is built off of that. Yeah. They have to have heavy recruiting to make sure this next season is full of For sure. the top people in the country because yeah. most likely we're going to do very good and then we're going to get them yep. up out of here because yep. they're going to declare for the draft. So. I mean, realistically, in comparison to, to, again, to the point of that, it's not like college basketball has been a lot of four-year team players across the board, especially for the really great players. They, right. they are one-and-dones or two-and-dones and stuff like that. You know, So it's not really changing a lot, but I do think in general when you have players that stick with the team, generally speaking – I think it's I think it's better overall in general, not only for the team but also for the school. Regardless, I, you know, building of the, the you know the legacies of everything. You know, it, it would be I think it would be dope if students that went to college legitimately. I know this is weird. I wish they got here. I'll, I'll multifaceted the answer. Mm -hmm. I wish that they got paid for being a student athlete and that they also almost had to finish and get their degree ah simultaneously i would like to see that so, i would like something there to, to be, that degree i don't know what the i would balance like there is. to be a guarantee if i brought you a national championship if i earned it on the field i don't care if it takes me eight nine years i should be and and because a lot of times when you have student athletes you know say i want to major in electrical engineering what if the classes that are linked to my particular major are at the same time I'm supposed to be at football practice. Right. Okay. Like technically I should be able to go ahead and take that class and I get to football practice whenever I want to, but you know, that's not how it works. No. Right. So, you know, if after my eligibility is up and I'm able to take those classes that I couldn't take because I had to make it to practice, I had to make it to the weight room. I had to make it to study tables for other things that, you know, the, the, the classes I could get to then there should be a situation where I'm guaranteed the opportunity to finish out the degree in a particular discipline that I select. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot mm -hmm. because I, I really, I, it's, it's the educational aspect. Like I, I feel like sometimes the, the, the one and dones and the people that are strictly focused on just the, just the athletic side of everything. It's just like, 
man, it, you, you would hate for something to happen in the next part of their career and then them to not just to miss out on the educational aspect that could help them further along in their life. Yeah. You know? And if you had that guarantee, there might be people who would stay, you know, yeah. but you know, when you don't have that guarantee and you know, I'm, I'm majoring in football or I'm majoring in basketball, That's really what I'm, getting it ready, is. I'm getting ready to go to the league Sports anyway, science. then you're not yeah. going to, you're not going to entice me to finish my education when you're not really invested in me finishing my education in the first place. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure. And I think that's just from a societal standpoint, that's an area where, and I know not everybody's a student athlete, but like it just, it's kind of a microcosm of how we don't value education in our country. We can see it. Yeah. You know? so yeah. It's like it's on full display. Oh so yeah. That's what I think. Thank all you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good points all around. Welcome to the new one. old head sports podcast. <laughs> <laughs>